I'll tell you something, and it'll be right now. Basically, I defeated everyone in the Dark Tournament. Also, I defeated the chess pieces in the War Games. Did not lose once. Also, killed off a bunch of Xenomorphs, or shall I say, headshot the Xenomorphs. Also, um, hunted down vampires, and basically more shit, because I am stronger than a motherfucker. I am stronger than a fucking beast, man. People say, you beast. Well, I'm fucking more than a fucking beast, man. Yeah, this is Derek Yasha, and today on Vlog 33, I'm going to talk about stuff and more. So, let's get into it. First off, what movies is coming out, alright? Well, I already know that um, Wall Street, uh, the Wolf of Wall Street, or whatever the fuck it's called, I know that movie already came out. I'm going to wait for it to come out on DVD. Alright, and that's the fact that I did not get the second movie on DVD, plus the fact that I need to watch the first movie. So yeah, I'll probably be marathoning uh, Wall Street movies when the third movie comes out on DVD, okay? Also, i seen the poster of the Robocop remake reboot shit. Yeah, the poster looks gayer than shit, alright? Well, let's see. It's trying to be a knockoff of Dread. At the same tr time, trying to be a knockoff of the Total, Total Recall poster. And basically being gay with, I guess, um, blue and red lights. Yeah. So, unoriginal, cre uncreative poster art for the, the Robocop remake. Also, this stupid shit. Vampire Academy? Are you fucking kidding me? Hollywood, did you run out of fucking ideas, dude? Just tell me. I'm gonna smack you right now. Come, come here. Come the fuck here. Yeah, yeah that's what you fucking get, and that's what you fucking deserve. For making another Twilight piece of shit, dog shit, of film. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm gonna knock you. The foul Yeah. For making Vampire Academy. Bravo. Bravo for making a shitty film. Okay? And also, who really cares about these other movies that's coming out? The only fucking films I care about is Expendables 3. And 300 Rise of the Empire. Okay, maybe Sin City. And I have to go in with low expectations of that film. Yeah. As for everything else, everything else is going to be dog shit. What, the Lego movie? Little kids are going to see that movie, man. I don't care if Will Ferrell is voicing one of the fucking Legos. I don't care if Morgan Freeman is in it. I don't fucking care. You want to know why? Because the Lego movies is not for me and it's not my cup of fucking tea. Okay? Who really cares about the fucking Legos movie? You know what else, too? Who really cares about going to a fucking theater anymore, man. You only go to a theater if you're going to see a good movie, not a mediocre movie or a terrible movie. You want to know why? Because then you feel like shit after you go to see a shitty film. That's why I am mad. Wow, dude, seriously, I didn't mean to get that mad, but wow, the, the shitty movies piss me the fuck off. 
Anyways, um, basically, who cares about the PS4? Who cares about the Xbox One? Who cares about the gay you? Yeah, I called it the gay you. Who cares? And I think Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis and PS2 are the best systems ever fucking made. You want to know why? Because they don't lack in gaming. They are actually good in gaming. Unlike the 360 where you only had two good games on it. What? Gears of War and Saints Roll. Okay? Fine, I'll admit, everything is fine and okay, but when you actually think about it, the first Saints Row and the Gears of War trilogy is what made the fucking Xbox 360. Take away those two games, and basically you got a brick that could play mediocre games. Yeah. Yeah, how am I playing my PS2 more? It's just shocking to me how before I wanted the Xbox because of Saints and Gears, but now since it it passed that, um, I don't give a shit about the damn system anymore. The only good thing is it's for is to go finish the rest of those games that I did not finish, and then after that probably go sell it. And sell all the games along with it. I will always have the memories of Gears of War. I will always have the memories of Saint R Saints Roll. Um, Saints Roll Two is mediocre at best. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about old shit. I'm supposed to be talking about new shit on here. <sighs> Anyways, um, an update on my life. It's it's kind of getting a little bit better. Um, I still got a lot to go, man. I'm still trying to get a fucking girlfriend. I'm still trying to get a lot of money, trying to get, get my life situated instead of basically getting in tournaments and fights and being a warrior. I am tired of that, and I want my woman now. So, yeah. Um, anyways, um, since I'm over done talking about stuff. I guess I will just show you the pickups that I got, okay? So, first one being Road Trip. Yeah. I like it for the rest of the crew, but not Tom Green. Tom Green is basically uh, weak in this film. He's not funny at all. The guy was never funny to begin with. Everyone else is funny, though. Okay, everyone else is fucking funny. Like, where is he? Like, he is my favorite fucking character out of the whole movie. This guy right here. He makes the whole fucking movie for me. You want to know why? Because he is like the McLovin of the film. You know what else, too? I like him. I like everyone else as well, but... Just not Tom Green, dude. But anyways, funny-ass movie. Five out of fucking five, man. I give it five out of fucking five, and I have to review it eventually. Alright, next movie is The Gift. I don't know anything about this fucking movie. But I'm gonna go into this with low expectations. Yeah, I'm gonna go into this with low expectations and hope for the good. And the only reason why I got it is because it has Keanu Reeves. Okay, I don't care about everyone else. I only care about Keanu Reeves. Yeah, because Keanu Reeves is the shit for me, man. What do you want me to do? Sorry for the camera glaring and shit. Okay, let's move on to the next movie. Of course, that I got uh, a three-pack. That includes Cadillac Man, Running Scared, and... The coach trip, whatever, whatever the fuck this is. I don't know what the hell this movie is, man. <laughs> Shit, dude. 
Uh, I'll go into low expectations with them three. So let's move on to the next ones. Okay. Uh, couldn't open this yet. It's kind of hard to open. Um, in my country, this has Samuel L. Jackson. I don't know who this chick is. Yeah. I'm going to go into this movie with low expectations. And I think that this is a romantic drama, probably. Maybe. Yeah, I'm going to go into low expectations with that. Of course, I already seen the film, and I did not like this film before. And it's a really damn shame. I'm gonna give this film a second chance, Silver Bullet. It, from what I can remember, it was a mediocre film, but I'm gonna go into it um, just thinking that um, the film is gonna be okay, and it'll probably be better for me. Alright? The next movies is uh the next movie is Arthur, not that piece of crap remake, but the original. Never seen this movie before, but I feel that this is a classic, and it is a classic. Yeah, I'm gonna go into this with low expectations, and it might be a five out of five movie. Okay. The next movie is 8mm. Um, yeah, um, this is a really good movie. And also that I give the movie a 5 out of 5. This is a really fucking dark movie. Basically, snuff film. Uh, this and this and that. I don't want to spoil it that much because I already know what the film is about. I just don't want to spoil it for you people. Okay. Next up is All About You. I wanted to pick up this movie because I read the back and, and the back was kind of interesting. And also the fact that this is probably a romantic uh, drama probably. I'm kind of into dramas a little bit. What do you expect? Yeah, because drama is all around me. <laughs> I finally got to pick up this movie after seeing a movie review by some guy. And that is The Last Dragon. Of course, that uh, I know that this is a black exploitation film. And I'm going to go into this with low expectations. This is kind of like a Bruce Lee film. Kind of, in a way. But like a black Bruce Lee film. Okay. And the next one is Dancing in September. I don't know anything about this movie, but I'm going to go into it, and I'm sounding like a fucking broken record here. I'm going to go into it with low expectations. Yeah. Let's just hope that this movie does not suck, and let's just hope that it doesn't make a rant or this movie sucks on it. Okay. Next film, of course, is Most Wanted. Yeah, let's we'll just hope that th this is a good movie. I really do. I'm just hoping that this is a good fucking movie. Okay, the last two, of course, is a Dracula pack, Hammer Films pack. Which has the horror of Dracula. Dracula has risen from the grave. Uh, Taste of Blood, Dracula. And Dracula, A.D. 1972. Hell fucking yeah, dog. How lucky did I fucking get to get this for um, a few dollars, basically. How fucking awesome is that? And the last film is Body Bags. Yeah. The Blu-ray and DVD combo pack. Which, originally, I wanted the DVD, and this was the only way to get the fucking DVD. And what's really sad is the special features is on the Blu-ray, and the DVD only has one special feature. 
Yeah, that's really that's really sad. Yeah, it is. But anyways, I guess the video was done, and I am out. Peace.